Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is ramandeep singh and today we are going to do banking and financial awareness for first 15 days of august 2024 it's very very important for ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 level exams so let's start the session before starting let me tell you ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 2024 course uh, it's already available on bankexamstudy.com and we are providing video classes notes quizzes test series and live sessions a uh, link to join the course is available in the description this is a whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts okay so let's start the session with sidbi partners c2 trades and uh, argo capital to facilitate loans to msme sector i hope you are already aware of the trades platform the trade receivable discounting system students you are going to find a lot of questions from these kind of uh, you know topics like what is the full form of trades it's trade receivable discounting system right so sidbi collaborated with c2 trades and argo capital to facilitate loans for msme so that is that was the purpose of trades platform so c2 trades it aims to enhance the liquidity for msmes add competitive interest uh, rate so it is a platform c2 trades it's a platform for the trades so so argo capital it's a, a data tech nbfc it has established a strategic co-lending partnership with sidbi right and they got the rbs co-lending uh, this uh, partnership leverages the rbs co-lending framework trades okay So SEBI launched India's first web portal for passive funds at NSE. So simply, this platform has been launched by uh, SEBI at the NSE's uh, systems. Okay, India passive funds. What is the purpose? As the name suggests, uh, you are going to find a lot of data. You will be able to find passive. Uh, information regarding passive funds and etfs passive mutual funds and etfs so this uh, particular web portal has been launched you will be able to find a lot of information regarding passive funds what are passive funds the mutual funds and etfs that tracks uh, the uh, indices so you are going to find information regarding underlying index aum tracking error trading volume and more so go to indiapassivefunds.com it's it's a very interesting website actually i spent a more than an hour on this site but interesting site app zarur dekhiye right so kotak mahindra bank and go qi launch smart uh, smart watches for contactless payments so that much is sufficient kotak mahindra bank they tied up with go q uh, you know smart watches for contactless payments so payments up to 5000 rupees can be made without using your pins right without using any pin swift partners with axis bank to launch ai pilot to tackle payment frauds so so to tackle payments fraud swift has partnered with axis bank just go through the headlines that should be sufficient here prudential treatment of bad and doubtful uh, debt reserve by cooperative banks this is an rbi guideline important rbi ka circular hai so a major change that has been made is regarding the accounting treatment of bad and doubtful debt reserve bad and doubtful debt ki jo provisions banti hai uske accounting treatment mein thoda sa change hai what is the change all provision for npa must be recognized as an expense in profit and loss account okay so jitne bhi provisions hai uh, uh, doubtful debts ki that should be uh, Uh, there in the expense side of profit and loss account so to make the compliance with accounting standard 5 the eligibility of such provisions for regulatory capital purpose will continue as defined in the existing uh, guidelines uh, ye jitne bhi provisions hain ye uh, bad and doubtful debt wali jo provision hai it will remain part of the capital ye capital ka hi part rahengi after changing all applicable provisions to the pnl account bank may make appropriations of net profit to this bad and doubtful debt reserve so basic yahi hai ki uh, the bad and doubtful debt reserve should be in the expense side of the profit and loss account but it will remain bad and doubtful debt reserve will remain part of the capital right for the regulatory purposes right so to make this transition 
uh, the time uh, the deadline has been uh, you know mentioned as a one time measure bank can rectify uh, past practices where provisions were created by appropriating for net profit rather than uh, recognizing uh, them as expenses the balances in a bad and doubtful debt reserve as of 31st of march 2024 will be adjusted accordingly by 31st of march 2025 ये सारी एडजस्टमेंट करने की डेडलाइन है 31st ऑफ मार्च 2025 ट्वेंटी एंड आई आई टी एम आई आई टी मद्रास पार्टनर्स विद आई डी बी आई टू लॉन्च साइबर सिक्योरिटी लैब एंड दैट्स ऑल आई गेस इनकम टैक्स रिलीफ टू द कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी सो कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटीज दे गॉट इनकम टैक्स रिलीफ रिड्यूस्ड मिनिमम ऑल्टरनेटिव मिनिम ऑल्टरनेटिव मिनिमम टैक्स रेट सो इट वॉज एटीन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट नाउ इट इज फिफ्टीन परसेंट लोअर सर चार्ज so it has been reduced from 12% to 7% so cooperative societies with income between 1 and 10 crores the surcharge has been reduced from 12% to 7% concessional rate for new manufacturing cooperative societies now it is 15% right relief for sugar cooperatives uh, sugar cooperatives were allowed to claim payments made to the sugarcane farmers as expenditure increased cash withdrawal without tds cooperative society can withdraw uh, you know cash without paying tds up to 3 crore per year pehle ye limit tha 1 crore but now up to 3 crore there is no limit rbi august 2024 mpc meeting the key decisions the repo rate remain unchanged uh, to 6.5% it is same mpc retained the withdrawal of accommodation stance it is unchanged so growth projection it is 7.2% for india right so rbi maintained its growth projection for the current fiscal at 7.2% very important india will grow at 7.2% for the next year so this projection has been made by rbi in its npc meeting this point is very important uh sebi proposes a new asset class so for the new asset class in the asset class uh, the mutual funds now they can do uh, you know derivative trading right derivative aapke you know behalf pe wo option trading kar sakte hain now the investment threshold is 10 lakh so that even retail investors can participate in this so greater uh, flexibility would be there high risk taking capability uh, you know investors can invest in this so uh, that is all about it uh, 10 lakh rupee is the minimum threshold to invest in this new asset class till now no new scheme is there but obviously in the future whenever the new schemes are there we'll get to know more about it so sebi amended mutual fund rules to curb front running insider trading so what is front running and insider trading so mutual funds they invest money on your behalf so in case mutual funds before investing for you they go to market and buy it and take position uh let's say there is a, there are smaller company like trident its share price is let's say 50 rupees per share and the mutual fund is going to buy 10 lakh shares right so the fund manager knows that the mutual fund is going to buy 10 lakh shares so before buying 10 lakh shares for the investors the fund manager went to the market and bought 50000 shares on his wife's name the price of trident may go up by like 2 3 percent it it may go up to like 51 52 rupees the fund manager may make money right uh, because of this information but the investors are going to lose money this is known as, known as front running so to control the front running uh, the sebi amended the rules so enhanced disclosure requirements mutual fund must disclose their daily nav uh, and portfolio holdings more frequently the fund managers and key personnel must report their trade uh, their trades within a shorter time frame jaldi se jaldi unko disclose karna padega stricter compliance and the monitoring norms are there and more penalties would be levied and we'll get more information later on right So Pine Labs and Axis Bank launch UPI Setu as India's first UPI focused payment platform UPI Setu RBI raised the maximum amount that can be paid with UPI from 1 lakh to 5 lakhs now that is important 
so increased transaction limit it used to be 1 lakh rupees but now you can transfer up to 5 lakh rupee uh with the rbi right uh you know 5 lakh rupees tak aap transfer kar sakte hain using rbi uh, using upi so rbi reduce the frequency of bank reports to credit information companies so on 8th of august rbi increase the frequency of credit information uh, reporting by the credit institutions right it used to be i guess a month it used to be month but now it is 15 days it used to be a month but now it is 15 days the credit information uh, companies the cis now uh, they need to you know uh, they need to uh, give the credit information uh, credit information report more frequently so this change aims to provide more up to date picture of the borrower's credit status so pehle ek mahine baad report aati thi uh, every month now it is every 15 days government of india relax long term capital gain rules for the property owners so if you have gone through the union budget 2024 you might have noticed the capital gains so the capital gain on sale of property uh, was 12.5% no matter what aapne property 10 saal pehle khareedi hai 20 saal pehle khareedi hai the long term capital gain fixed at 12.5% but now government said okay you can use the indexation so now you got two options either you use the benefit of indexation if you use the benefit of indexation the tax rate would be 20% right if you use the indexation otherwise it is 12.5% so banking laws uh, amendment bill 2024 introduced by finance minister so it is not in action as of the moment if it goes into the action there will be a lot of changes four nominees can be added to one bank account right right now it is one you can add four nominees so substantial interest raises the threshold for the substantial interest for the dictatorship uh, directorship sorry from 5 lakhs to 2 crore flexibility in auditor pay there is there would be no limit on the payment of the auditors fee jitni bhi pay kar sakte hain revised reporting dates changing regulatory reporting dates for banks to 15th and last day of each month an unclaimed dividend enables individual to claim uh, unclaimed dividend share or interest transfer to the investors education and protection fund wahan se bhi they can recover money tenure extension uh, for cooperative banks increase the tenure for directors from 8 years to 10 years jo directors hain whole time directors uh, un, in the cooperative bank unka tenure 8 year se bada ke 10 saal kar diya hua hai fractional ownership platform property share received india's first smre it license from sebi it is itself uh, important fractional uh, ownership flat platform uh, they got the sebi approval the name is property share so we'll do this tomorrow i hope you like the today's session students uh, we'll be doing mcqs on today's session right so get back tomorrow uh, till then ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 2024 course in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes test series live session and interview preparation guidance link to join the course is available in the description this is our whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts right so all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them you can be one of them in the future and yes you will be one of them in the future if there is any doubt please ask your doubts and i'm going to answer all your doubts so that's all for today students thank you and have a very very nice day bye bye